All right, today we get to go behind the scenes and take a look at uh, how we created week one of the online hybrid certification course. I guess you could call it uh, an anatomy of week one. Uh, right now you'll notice that we're in the assignments area in the week one folder and our edit mode is off. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on so we can see how we use the different tools. Uh, the first introduction here is, is simply an item. And so what we did was we go build content, add an item, and we just gave it a title, and we added some text to it, and also uh, we added a YouTube mashup video to it. And so we just went over here to the mashup tool, selected YouTube video, uh, and you can either uh, when you go to that you can either do a text search. Or if you have the specific URL to the uh, YouTube video, you can search for it and add it there. And then we added uh, due dates. So as you look at it here, you can see that we just added some text that listed the uh, due dates. And then we just uh, used a series of tools to create this list of assignments. And the first one again is a, an item and we added an image to it so I'll go in beside this link and click edit so you can take a look at it basically what we did was um, just go in and use this um, edit or insert image tool to add an image of the textbook and we indicated some instructions you'll notice throughout the course instruction there are italics and each item is uh, marked reviewed. So I'll show you how to do that once. Um, it's with every item that you can see. You won't actually see this unless you turn edit mode off, but notice under each each of these there's a, a mark reviewed button. So how did we do that? Uh, after you've created the content, go back to that menu and select this set review status. And it'll be disabled by default. You just click enable, click submit, and then that will give you that button. And again, you won't see that unless you turn edit mode off. Now the next one says discuss essential elements one through three. And rather than telling uh, you to go to the discussions area and then click and go into the week one form and find a thread called essential elements one through three, we're gonna create a shortcut that takes you directly there. This is a course link. So all we did was go to build content course link and uh, we just said B and then you and type whatever you want discuss essential elements one through three uh, that's the title but what you want to do is you want to browse to the place in the course where you want to link the learner and in this case we're going to go down to the discussion board and we selected week one and some other settings you can set. Uh, it's uh, available to users by default. You can track how many people actually click on that link and go to the discussion board that way and submit that. And then that gives you that shortcut uh, directly inside of the forum uh, where you're going to have your week one discussion. Then the next one says complete a learning activity. Now this is actually a folder inside of a folder. You can't see it because what we've done is we've um, remove the uh, icons over here and just have the text and what you do is you go up here to the top and see where it says show icons only or show icons and text when when we initially set this up it gave the option to show text only and that's how we got rid of the folder and then um, we went inside the folder and just created a series of activities much like we just did uh, in the assignment folder I'll go back out here. This is actually a page and um, you can do that by going to build content blank page. That'll give you a, a separate page and this one is a discussion board link again inside the week one form. And finally this one is a quiz. And that you just go up here to assessments, test, and go through the process of creating a quiz and since this is a self-assessment, we made the questions worth zero points and use essays for feedback.